Hey YouTube. So, um, I put a couple videos out so far of my car camp conversion, my trailer camper conversion, and this is an upgrade for my trailer. I got a small TV right here. Got it for 20 bucks um, off a classified ad near me. And as you can see, it is wired up like most TVs for a 110 volt plug into the wall. So what I'm gonna do to make um, the power consumption lower and to make it easier to plug in without running an inverter all the time is take this bad boy apart and figure out where the 110 voltage gets converted to 12 volts and plug in directly to there so that I can plug it into my camper, TV uses less energy, and so on. All right, hang tight, and I'll bring you back once I've got this thing apart. Okay, so I took it apart. Come on. Got the motherboard. When you take these apart, be very careful. These ribbons disconnect from parts of the LCD. They're really easy to break. Um, like this right here might look like string. It's not. There is a little connector on the end of it. Do not yank. Do not cut very carefully pull these out because the LCD is a screen on the front is extremely touchy. So if you come here to the motherboard, you see right here with this white cord coming into here is where the 110 volt comes in. Okay. Now if you look over here at this white bracket with two teeth in it, it says power upgrade. Okay, we flip the motherboard over, and right here are the two prongs for that. Now it's labeled as 12 volt and ground. You see, one pin's 12 volt, that's your hot side, one side's ground. You cannot mix these up. In this motherboard, there are diodes and things that are only going to work with the circuit going in the right direction. Okay, so. I have, show the, the battery. All right, so I have some test cables hooked to my battery. My yellow is my ground. My brown and yellow are my test light. Now, what I'm gonna do is just touch these to here and see if this red LED power indicator comes on, all right? I'll tell you. Now there might be a slight arc just because my hand's not perfectly steady. There you go, there's a on. slight arc. Now is it's that on. LED on? It's on. Okay. So Gavin, reach up there and push the first black button next to the LED. So this one? Underneath it. Yep, push it. Should turn blue. Okay, so power's working normally on the TV. So back, show these points where my hands are, Maddie. So back at these points, I'm gonna solder my hot to this one and my ground to this one and just cut out the 110 power cord and that's how my TV is gonna run going forward. All right, so. Hey guys, so we're in the middle of my TV video about how I took my um, little cheap TV and turned it from 110 AC power to 12 volt DC power. Um, so I took the TV apart, I showed you the two places on the motherboard where you put the 12 volt and the, the ground wires. Um, I soldered them and then I ran the lines um, down to my battery. The, um, the TV works fine. Um, it's already mounted up in my trailer and you'll see next um, a quick little clip of it plugged in and working, um, hanging off the wall in my camp trailer. Um, but first what I did was kind of dumb. I wasn't thinking. Um, well, I was thinking, but I didn't think all the way through. So on the back of the TV, it said um, 110 volt, 40 watts. And if you don't know the difference, um, voltage is um, how much pressure the electricity creates. And amperage is kind of like how fast the electricity is moving. Um, and when you combine the two, you get wattage. 
So when you multiply volts times amps, you get wattage. So if the TV says that it's um, 40 watts on 110 volts, then I just divide 40 by 110 and that tells me my amperage. Um, well, I'm switching down to 12 volts. So I divided 40 watts because the wattage is always going to stay the same. And the reason for that is on, on 110, it probably uses, I think it was like 0.3 or 0.4 volts, uh, not volts, amps, excuse me, 0.3 or 0.4 amps, a very small amount. Um, but on 12 volts, it is, um, if you divide 40 by 12, it's uh, a, almost three and a half. So I rounded up to three and a half. Um, so three and a half amps is what I was looking for on the power. So I had this thing and it had a, a long cord on it and I wired it up to the two cords that I soldered to the TV. And um, the, the thing that I liked about it was it says 3.5 amps. So that, that's what the output is. There's a fuse in here, it's gonna protect my TV. I plug it in, it wasn't working. And it kind of freaked me out. I thought I screwed up the LCD. So I took it apart two more times just to make sure. Um, I didn't mess up the LCD. What I didn't pay attention to is it, it also controls the amperage, but it also controls the voltage. So the incoming, when you plug this in a cigarette lighter, is 12 or 24 volts, but the outgoing is only 5 volts and 3.5 amps, so you're looking at like 17 watts. So I was just kind of a dummy thing. I didn't check the voltage. So I cut this off and I wired it directly to the battery. Um, I tested it like that, it worked, but um, because I didn't have any sort of protection for the TV from a surge, I got, um, and this is all wired up in my trailer. Um, I was working to get it done fast, so I'm, I'm just showing you a picture. But this, sorry, this is super bright. Um, I'm showing you a picture of what I used. It was, it's a pigtail fuse holder, right? There's, you get them at the hardware store or an auto parts store for like three or four dollars. Um, so there's a cable coming in and a cable coming out and this little black box will hold one of these fuses. So you put that little pigtail fuse holder on the positive side of, um, of your whatever you're wiring up and you make sure that it's between the battery and the TV or whatever it is you're wiring it up. That way if there's some kind of a surge um, it'll pop the fuse and my TV is protected and um, the fuse is pretty easy to swap out. Um, so uh, yeah, it, everything went well. The next thing you should see is um, a quick little clip about the TV working just fine. Um, I haven't had any issue. It doesn't seem to run a lot of power watching the TV for a while. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, if you liked what you saw, or you didn't, or you got questions, comments, whatever, um, give me a shout. Uh, I'm new to YouTube, but I'm hoping to get more involved, kind of get in the community here. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, questions, just whatever you got. Uh, hearing anything would be better than hearing nothing. So, have a good night. I hope you enjoyed this. All right. There you go. It's the final product.